So here on the Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, I have made dozens of videos of me trimming my beard and giving you tips and tricks about how to trim your beard. And on every one of them, I have used this Brio Beardscape Trimmer. I got it back in uh, August of 2018. So going on four years and has never let me down yet. But I'm going to tell you, I think I may have found a new trimmer that's even better. So today in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Brio Beardscape version two. So I think it's got the same chassis to it, but it's got some upgraded bells and whistles. So that's what we're going to be showing you on today's video. So welcome guys. I appreciate you joining me and let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Here. So it looks like it's going to be blacked out and looks like a little different display here. Uh, slightly different shape. We're going to compare that and see what we get here. I'm holding the box up, get this friction uh, going. And ooh, nice tight uh, design there. Packaging looks great. As always, I've had, uh, I also have the Brio Axis trimmers, which is more of a fine detail. I've had, I've uh, ordered extra attachments, uh, blades and those kind of things, and everything's always been uh, packaged really well. So in here, we've got our uh, owner's manual. So the new V2 owner's manual. We've got uh, a thing to get our warranty. And then we've got, this looks like cutting lengths, the different millimeters, micro adjustments that you can make with the Brio Beardscape. Okay. All right, and there it is. It looks like it's a nice blacked out version of this thing. So let's take a look here. Let's compare that to the original that I have handy. And so obviously different coloration. And this feels a little, it doesn't feel heavier, but it's got a little more professional feel to it. It's kind of hard to explain. This one's a little bit more kind of uh, plasticky. This one's a little more solid. Uh, uh, I see why. So here on the side, well, for one, this one's more round, the original, and the new one's a little more rectangle, rectangular shape, but it still has kind of an oval shape, so it's going to lay really nice in the hand. And also this on the side, it's a little more grippy. It's not rubbery, but it's a little more grippy. And then there's also some raised up ridges on the back that the, the original just has a little bit of ridge here on the side and that's all it has. So definitely feels a little bit better in the hand. All right, let's turn it on. Well, I don't know if it's got any juice or not. Let's see. Uh, might be out of juice. Nope. It says hold power for five seconds to unlock or lock. Well, that's new. So uh, the original one, there's no kind of lock on it. So evidently this is like a travel lock. So let's hold it down for five seconds. All right, so there we go. So a little bit different here. We've got a different color around the, the power button. And then your display it says 179 minutes. That's 7,000 RPM. Let's see if we can go down with it. 6,500. 6,000, 5,500, 5,000 RPM. And as you go down, the number of minutes goes up. So I don't really, does anybody know use cases of having a lower RPM? I always just keep it as high as I can. So it can just go through like butter. Uh, another thing I see is this 1.9 millimeters. That actually goes with our, uh, our slide here on our ceramic blade. We can slide it all the way up. And as you slide it, it's now uh, making... Uh, a noise which it doesn't do on the other one so now it says 1.0 millimeters kind of hard to see but if I slide it down one it goes to 1.3 1.6 and then 1.9 so it tells you where you've got the slide at for your ceramic blade uh, the other one doesn't do any beeping when you move it and you have to really look here in the dark to see on that black at what it says 1.6 1.9 whatever you can just kind of do it by feels not a big deal but it's kind of neat to see that on the screen let's compare the uh, 7000 rpm here's the original and then here's the new one definitely sounds a little quieter and this was already super quiet i love the brio that it's super quiet you can actually hear it cutting every hair so that is neat so there we go and then let's take a look at the base. So the base is pretty cool. Uh, you can uh, plug the cable into the base uh, and then just leave it sitting on your counter. I don't actually leave the cable plugged in because I think I've only uh, 
charge mine like four, five, six times over four years. I only charge it like every six to nine months just because, uh, but it lasts up to like four hours of runtime and it doesn't drain very fast. So that's not like you're going to, if you don't use it for six months, it goes dead. It doesn't do that, which is pretty cool. So I just leave that sitting there and then have a nice display uh, like that in my, on my counter. It's the way I leave mine all the time, but you can plug the cable also directly in. So if you're completely dead, you're out of juice, uh, you can plug it directly into the uh, trimmer itself, the Beardscape, or into the uh, base. All right, cool. So let's see what else we have. A slightly different shape here because we're a little bit more um, uh, rectangular, rectangular shaped, whereas the bottom of this one is a little more round on the original. All right, let's see what else we have in here. So it looks like we've got our cable, our charging cable and brick, and then all of our attachments, our guards and our brush and our, looks like oil there for the blades. Do you guys oil your uh, trimmer blades? I don't typically do it unless it starts sounding funny. I don't know if I've ever oiled my original Beardscape. All right, so this is the brick. It's a little bit different. It's not super big. The other one's a little more, um, uh, square shaped and this one's a little more rectangle and then you've got your cable I'm not sure how long that is but I've never had an issue because you know you just do it once every <laughs> once every six to nine months or once a year and you're you're good with that but there's the cable and then let's take a look at our guards and there's our little brush and the little brush is good to get the hair out of these little grooves where they like to to hide And then you've got your lightweight oil for your blades. And then we've got our guards. So this is uh, one millimeter and two millimeters. So you just turn it around to get each one. It also has the one and two written on the sides. I can't remember if my original has it written on the sides like that or not. You just have to be careful. Um, if you've never used one before, it kind of locks into place. Just make sure it's locked in good and you're in good shape. Um, Got to be careful with that. Just make sure it's locked in. If not, you go to press something in and that guard pops off, you're in trouble. I've never had that happen. I have had it on like kind of wappy jawed one time. Uh, that's the word from the South. Uh, anyway, we've got one that's for the six and three. That's probably the one I use most. It looks like it's all the same sizes. In fact, let's see if it'll pop on the old one here. Yep. So it'll go on either one. So like I said, the main chassis, the blades uh, and the ceramic blade and the uh, guards here all work the same. So uh, you can have, if you, I don't know if you really need to upgrade, but if you want to, you already have the original, you want the new one, maybe you can keep one for your, you know, your uh, beard and your head hair and the, the other one for your body hair. If you do any of that kind of trimming, uh, here is the 15 and 18 millimeter guard use that one some when I'm using a guard um, for my long longer length beard and then 12 and 9. So those are all the guard attachments. Here is the brand new Beardscape version 2 with some upgraded bells and whistles. Let's lock it back, hold it down for five seconds and there's the travel lock. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So make sure you are subscribed because you know we're gonna be doing some beer trimming soon and put this thing into use. And as always guys, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video.